positions for young players to break in. On the blue line and at center, that the Jackets are seeing some of their young blue liners and Sillinger develop and get better. Now, those are the guys we highlighted in the open. You look at Andrew Peak, Jake Bean, Adam Boquist, you know, they're, they're very young in their careers, especially Peak. Yeah, yeah. This is really his first full National Hockey League season in the center position. You've got Cole Sillinger. Sillinger with a nice pass in front there for Alec Chinikov out here now. He's had a strong game. Shot there by Boquist. Shovel to hit by Gabrikov to keep it in. Well into the final minute here. Jackets throw it in front. Off his stick. Corrali at the point. Boquist keeps it in. Tried to feather a pass on the backhand. Gallagher spun around. There's going to be a penalty here for a holding. Yeah, Boquist just got in the way. Now Gallagher's going to take a poke at anyone in a white jersey that comes around him. Boquist is going to go for holding. Yeah, I don't know if Gallagher's going to go too. Or is he just going to the bench? Under penalty holding. I just want penalty on the play, and it's going to be Boquist. Does he try to make that pass across in the middle of the ice? Gallagher got a piece of it, broke it up. So he sits. And for the Blue Jackets, you know, he put up four goals early, and then they came pretty easy too, Jeff. You know, long shots. Montembeau gets pulled. And then you let Montreal hang around. They got within one, but the Blue Jackets off of some great saves from Jonas Corposalo in that sequence just before Sillinger scored. That's ninth. To make it 5-3. Put that combination of timely goaltending. Well, that was on, on display tonight. Entering pass, moving right in. And speaking of timely goaltending, nice stop right there. And you gotta have it. I mean, it's a great example. Montreal didn't have it early in this game for the goaltending, those saves. And then you go back to the Ranger game, the Blue Jackets, you looked at Jonas Kroposalo, he gave up one goal. You know, he gave up two goals, and then the Blue Jackets came to life. And then he really shut things down on the New York Rangers, who got two goals pretty easy. Thought they were going to have one of those nights, but the Blue Jackets had something to say about it. Quick shot, pad save. Get a chance to play back-to-back -back games. You come up strong, and that's certainly the case for Jonas Corposalo. Back-to-back victories. Jackets win their first two games consecutively since late November. Yeah, there's been some inconsistency for the Columbus Blue Jackets, but right now they've won two in a row. They got one left before the break. It's at home tomorrow night against the Florida Panthers. Our IGS Energy performers. A couple of good choices there. Yeah, two points, and uh, the second goal for line A came from a nice play and an empty net by Cole Sillinger. And Cole got that snipe to make it 5-3 and really push the game away from the Montreal Canadiens who tried to keep it close. But they couldn't do it, and for the Blue Jackets, it would be a happy flight home here after this one, putting six up in Montreal. And then 